This is an experimental amplifier with an SPF 5043. Two coupling capacitors, input and output, 100 PF, and then inductors from all the three connections of the device. There are uh, some capacitors from this what is normally ground connections these are SMT capacitors hard to see I think well uh, so the ground connections are decoupled with two capacitors of 3.3 .3 nanofarads then there is an inductor and decoupled by 100 PF that's also a mechanical protection so I have uh, the ground here the input here and the output here uh, for low frequencies and for radio frequencies uh, it is just 100 PF on both ends first I just put the wire from here to ground and then apply 5 volts here and this is what I can see I'm using Linrod and I calibrate the main signal for minus 40 on this what is a dBm scale but actually minus 40 relative to the carrier that is because the red trace channel 2 goes through 40 dB of attenuation while the other channel goes through this notch filter that removes that strong signal completely and the corresponding attenuator here is zero when both attenuators are set to zero uh, the sensitivity is the same that's uh, adjusted by some other attenuators here and here. So now when I click 10 kilohertz up in frequency here I read from the blue trace the sideband noise level 10 kilohertz from the carrier and channel 1 the blue trace it reads 98 minus 98.6 means minus 128 dBc per hertz. Uh, a capacitor from this point to ground, uh, a 10 microfarad, well, this is slow, the camera, 10 microfarads, uh, tantalum electrolytic capacitor, uh, changes uh, what I see uh, to look like this uh, so I read out what can this be minus 110 that means <coughs> minus 140 and a half dBc per Hertz that's a significant improvement Rather than having B grounded, I now put the 100 ohm resistor from B to ground. Like you can see here. Uh, this does not affect the noise much. If I read it out, I see minus 111.8. So it's about one decibel. Not significant really. Of course I had to increase the supply voltage to compensate for the voltage drop across that 100 ohm resistor. So there is 10 volts now on the red wire and there is 5 volts at the top end of the resistor. Now I have supplied feedback. It's this diagram. So I feed the low frequency component from the output to the input 
and then something to prevent it from becoming an oscillator. And this is what I see. The noise floor is minus 117.6, that is minus 147 dBc per hertz. And I check the strong signal, it's still on 40 as it should be. Forty point two, that's accurate enough. And I check the margin to saturation now. That's five dB, ten dB, and you see it's saturated. Fifteen dB, it doesn't go up more. But the measurement was done uh, ten dB below saturation, so it should be okay. I have now added 100 ohms from B to ground. It was grounded in the previous experiment, of course. And what I see here is minus 118.2. So current feedback from the ground pins is not of much interest. So we could put pin the ground connections 1 and 3 directly to the ground plane. Now I have 200 ohms on the supply line, uh, hoping that the gain is going to be higher, so the feedback becomes stronger. But when I read out from the S-meter graph, I see 118.2. That is only half a dB more than I had with a 100 ohm resistor. Uh, with 50 ohms here and 5 volts here, uh, the gain is a little bit lower and uh, it's 0.7 dB lower and uh, the noise is a little higher saturation is about 3 dB lower, but it's an interesting configuration. When I feed 5 volts here, on the other side of 50 ohms I have 3.4 volts, and with some degraded performance. I have now turned up the voltage to uh, 8.5, and then I have 5 volts over the device and the gain is back and the noise floor is quite good Oops. so this someday <laughs> maybe I will fix it here we are minus 118.2 so this is still very good. That is minus 148 dBc per hertz. And this is with the SPF 5043, which when operated as recommended by the manufacturer was, well, I think it was minus 128. That's in the beginning of this video. I verified this measurement, the last one, at minus 148 uh, by switching off the strong signal. And the noise floor drops by about 10 dB. So this was accurate enough. <laughs>